Okay, so we're here we go guys. We are on level seven. Since we have a small lawn, this is basically it right here. I'm not watering past that line because I'm trying to keep my water use down. I have this on the outside, that on the outside, and then this on the inside. This is basically weeds, but they stay green, so I'm letting them run this side of the lawn. So let's go ahead and, and mow without further ado. So we click first, and then we pull the tab on the top back. Here we go. Okay guys, so it did a little cut here, I don't know if you can see that very well, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that, I'm going to do probably this side of the lawn on 7 and then bring it down to 6, then to 5, 4, until we get to 3, so that I can get the clippings really fine. I don't want uh, very very thick clippings on the lawn because uh, if you guys don't know, the smaller the clippings, the faster they decompose, the faster they go back into the, into the ground and produce nutrients for your grass. So I'm going to go ahead and set you guys up here on the tripod and do a little cut of this. We'll uh, lower it to 6, then to 5, 4, then down to 3. If I get a little impatient, I might just go from 6 to 3 or 5 to 3. We'll see. Alrighty guys, stick around. Seven. Let's go down to six.
Okay guys, and the reason I'm going in circles on the lawn, you may think like, why is he going in circles? I'm trying to shoot the clippings back into the lawn as opposed to shooting them onto the driveway or onto the neighbor's lawn. I'm trying to, to keep them within the lawn so that they can uh, stay on there and, and keep, uh, new, keep uh, recycling those clippings for uh, food for the lawn, okay? So we're basically done on six. We're gonna bring it. We're gonna bring it all the way down to three, guys. Save some time. Here we go. So that's basically it guys uh, we're pretty much done I think I might have missed a little spot there um, but we're basically done let's take a look at the bottom of the deck here I'm gonna pick it up from the wheel make sure these things aren't spinning so as you can see the deck is fairly clean um, that's what you want Uh, you don't want any clippings to stick. You want the clippings to go back onto the lawn. And the reason that these blades spin faster than if they would otherwise is because the added or the extra blade on there makes the computer think that it's going through thicker grass so it pulls more power from the battery and ramps up that speed. That's the reason why it does that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting the other side um, so stay tuned okay guys before we start this side let's take a look at our battery usage and we're still at four bars we're probably pretty close to getting down to three uh, so we're gonna go ahead and hit this little field of weeds and we're gonna bring up the deck a little bit higher because we don't want to hit any rocks Okay, so we'll probably bring it up all the way to seven, cut there, and then we'll bring it down uh, depending on how we see we're doing. Okay. Alrighty guys, we'll set you up here, and we're going to go ahead and cut. Guys, we're gonna save time. We're gonna drop it down at three, and just where the, where I see that there's rocks, we'll bring it up a little bit so we don't pick up any rocks. Here we go.
this thing ramped up way higher than I thought it would. Uh, let me show you some of the clippings that are left behind. Check this out, guys. It just pulverized this grass. It just totally, here we have a little bit of clumping. Look at those, look at those clippings. Man, they, they got pulverized and that was just with the side shoot. Now, if I would have been mulching, these clippings would be a lot, a lot smaller. But uh, like I said, I want, I don't want them to stick to the deck. I want it to go, to go back into the lawn so that it can uh, create nutrients for it. Let's take a look at the bottom of the deck, see if we, and we got any sticking. We'll go on this side, pull on the tire, black tire. Good. We still have some sticking here because this is pretty wet. I do water this probably daily, maybe, maybe every other day. So we are having some sticking, but the majority is being tossed back out. One thing that you can do if you want to recycle your clippings is clean your deck and kind of sprinkle them over the lawn. Uh, clean your mower here on the lawn. Okay guys, let's continue mowing. Like I said, guys, don't try this at home. This is very, very dangerous. If this second blade were to come off this mower, it would potentially damage some property, your property, or it could potentially hurt you. So do not try this at home. I'm gonna continue mowing. I've been doing this for a while, so I'm very, I'm pretty experienced with uh, X-blading or cross-blading or whatever you wanna call it. But even then, uh, you need to be very careful with this. Alrighty guys, let's continue. Look at how that's ending up. It's ending up very nice. Okay. I'm going to continue mowing. I'll show you guys the clip. Here we go.
Alrighty guys. So I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride here. I'll strap you on to the mower. We're gonna see if this is gonna work. Hopefully my tripod does not break. Here we go. Okay, I see a lot of shaking. I don't know if this is gonna work, guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish mowing this and then I'll, I'll give you guys a glimpse of that outside. So stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so there it is. There's the lawn. It looks good. Okay guys, so here's the final result. 
The reason we're having a little bit of yellowing here is because we have some new growth. Uh, so that should go away pretty soon. I like this dark green here. And then I like the dark green on the outside too. And then I like the lime green of the mower. And that looks sweet. Look at that guys. Beautiful, beautiful machine. Let's take a look at the undercarriage here. We're having a little bit of clumping, but not that much. Not as much as if we would be mulching. Uh, these things are doing a beautiful job of cutting. So uh, we're gonna continue. Probably we'll uh, we'll do some weed eating here with our Ego 60 volt string trimmer. It's not my favorite, guys. Sorry to bust your bubble. It's not my favorite, but it is a good weed eater, the Greenwork 60 volt. So we're gonna hit this off camera and then uh, we'll do some weed eating if uh, daylight permits with the Greenwork 60 volt. Maybe we'll do that on another video. So uh, stay tuned. We'll see you guys in a bit.